So I've got vultures spawned there, 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 and over there. So they should all come in and try and fuck me up. So if I just stand down here, I should be pretty safe. Let's see how this works. Ready, set, go. G'day, guys. My name's Josh. Yo, can call me Jawoodle, and welcome back once again to Seven Days to Die Alpha 17, where I am back in the tester world as I seem to always be these days. There's so many new things to do, so many things to build, and so many things to test, but I am back here because I was doing a little bit of off camera work over at my Jurassic Park wall, and I was thinking to myself, you know what? It doesn't really feel like it's defended very well. So, as you can see, I started building a catwalk over the top so I could cruise along the top of the wall and defend the wall as. I needed to sit up here and pepper the zombies or the dinosaurs as they come charging in. And that's when I realized that, you know, like a catwalk is great, but I need some defensive towers. And on those defensive towers, I feel like I need to have something to fight vultures. Zombies and stuff, all the ground walkers, all the, the normal plebs that use their feet to get around are relatively easy. I mean, you shoot them, they die, they move kind of slowly, they're a big target, you can shoot them pretty easily, even with my terrible aim. But the only problem I have is with the vultures, because they're small, they fly, and they come out of nowhere, so when you're focusing on something else, they come over, and they peck you, and drill their beak through the back of your noggin. That sounds awful to me, so I decided that I was going to come up with some sort of solution for my front gate to stop the vultures coming in, make this a wall for the sky as well as the ground. The first part of my idea is to have some sort of tower on this wall. Like, the wall is fine, but you need some sort of, like, high elevated position to be able to shoot down on everything, but that's where the protection from the vultures is going to be because they're in the sky so i may as well build the vulture protection in the sky and just you know just generally just make everything a little bit safer that's where the doorway is going to be out onto the catwalks and need to remember not to block that up just like this there we go right that looks that looks just about fine i mean i i wouldn't mind oh maybe i can make it a triple maybe i could make it a triple is there such a thing as like uh like an angled catwalk oh <gasps> there is okay that is that's gonna work just fine for me uh i need one other piece of catwalk please you will do fine go like th this there we go and then like this there then it will angle that perfectly so when i have my garage door i mean you know, listen i'm not going to craft garage doors to build this stuff that goes there and the entry down here will be garage door so then you can open that up and go out to the catwalk easy as you like that's perfect so this is the height that i'm going to build the floor of the tower to the same height as the top of the gate so it looks a bit normal yeah it's about the same size there we go i've also done some just like aesthetic upgrades to the tower for now because as i always say aesthetics matter that's why i spend so goddamn long painting everything all the time so now instead of like you know just having a big square i've got some ramps uh to you know, make it all look a bit more like smooth and not so like kind of harsh and authoritarian even though i am the authority to the zombies but i've also built a nice little spiral staircase on the inside all the way up to the door to go out to the catwalk and i'm gonna find maybe maybe i'll we'll put a ladder like just here i think up to the top or maybe i'll oh, maybe i'll put one in the center that could be pretty sexy actually if i like, get rid of that and then i put like a plate there if i can get on the right level there we go boom plate there if i make that the the ladder way up that could actually be really really cool i might have to do that Interesting. I love it when I come up with ideas on the fly. See, if you're just talking, you just keep pushing words out of your mouth. Eventually, something mildly useful might accidentally come out. Just going to bang a hatch on the top of this ladder because the last thing you need in the zombie apocalypse, yep, it opens the right way, is to accidentally fall down a hole and break your fucking ankle. And then, you're like, that's... Have you not seen The Walking Dead? That's how everyone dies. They make a stupid decision and then a super ninja stealth zombie that apparently no one can ever hear despite every other zombie in the world shuffling around and groaning sneaks up at them and bites them on the neck. That's how it always happens. And then happening to me i'm also going to put a catwalk around the outside because just like every protective tower ever if you've ever seen a movie that involves a jail of some kind i need to be able to patrol the top of this tower and look out over the surrounds and make sure i'm ready to shoot any sort of zombie that even looks like taking a football from a prisoner or zombie v guards uh football match there we go yeah, just like your stereotypical jail tower that will be fine I need to put some corners in as well it's all coming together rather nicely i haven't even got to the part that i started the episode for the whole reason that i started filming was to build uh a, zomb uh, a, a zombie vulture protection system and i haven't even built that yet i got too distracted by building my sweet tower it looks awesome safety first put on a couple of supports for my catwalk because you don't want this shit falling down even though i don't think these supports actually do anything but it makes it look like it actually makes sense if there's something actually holding up the catwalk as opposed to it just being glued to the side of the steel 
Look at that. That is a sexy looking tower. I mean, it's all steel at the moment, but like, I can go and paint it to make it look proper. But like, that is just about perfect, and there's a perfect spot on the top for my anti-vulture device that I'm yet to build. I really need to get started on that. Look at that. That looks perfect. Good lick of paint, and it's exactly what I wanted it to be. That looks fucking wicked. Right, I'm, I could have just had that as a build by itself. I mean, most of this episode will be building that because the next part should be pretty straightforward, I think. Maybe like 50-50 building the tower and then building the anti-vulture device. But now that I have the support system for this, uh, the device, I'm going to put that straight on the top. This is going to be about that and then a square on top. There we go. And do I have any plates left over? Plate, plate, plate. I do have some steel plates and I'm going to put those, but I'm going to get them on the top side. Are you not? You're on the bottom side. I need them to be on the top. There we go. Just like that. Just underneath that square. So off the pillar rather than the, the square block. Just like that. There we go. And then all we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves some turrets. I'm not sure if the shotgun turret or the auto turret is going to be the better one, but this is going to be some genuine AA, anti-aircraft, anti-vulture, just turret system. It's going to be perfect. I'm excited. It's, it's hopefully going to work like a charm. I don't know. Maybe the, the turrets don't target vultures. Maybe they do. Maybe I should use a shotgun instead so it only kicks in when I get close. I don't know. But that is a, that's an experiment to do. So I'm going to put those ones on there first. I'll test it with the auto turrets. Then I'll swap it out for shotguns and just see how they work and how effective they're going to be. I can probably just bang the battery pack just right on the top there that's nice and easy i mean i don't need to hide it anywhere i can just hang it up there if the vultures somehow destroy that then well good on them i guess they're smarter than i am uh i need the switch for this uh i mean i guess i can just put it straight on the window can't i i mean it doesn't need to be attached to anything like realistically and i just go like this uh you down to uh you and then oh yes good it doesn't look too obtrusive that's exactly what I wanted. And you go straight up to this, and then from you to each one of you. Therefore, the switch is protected. The switch is the weakest part of the system. If a cop rolls up and, like, blows away the switch, then I lose a power to all of my turrets, which would suck. So I don't want that to happen. Um, how has that happened? What is... What have I just done? I don't... I don't fool... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I get it. I've accidentally gone... I need to go from you to the switch rather than the turret to the switch. I must have misclicked there somehow. All right now it's got power and I can connect you up to the last turret. Boom. There we go. Let's put some ammo in these bad boys and then spawn some vultures and see just how good they can be. You can see I've angled all the turrets up into the sky to try and keep it as an AA gun rather than just like shooting zombies on the ground. Are you actually lined up to where the, the vultures are going to come from? You need... You need fucking Okay, let's go down here, in, in here, turn you on, there we go, okay, right, uh, I have spawned a bunch of vultures, you can see them like right there, that the tangled mess of feathers are the vultures, so maybe about there should be good, are you all about on that angle? No, I need to, I need to fix all the angles, because otherwise they're too high, and I might end up getting myself killed by accident, I was too low, damn it Josh, oh, I have to be such a perfectionist, did I shoot the gun or did I shoot my gun? I must have just been... I, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. The eyebrows are scaring me. I feel like they're flying vultures, but they're not. Last one, but not least. There we go. Okay, so I've got vultures spawned there, 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 and over there. So they should all come in and try and fuck me up. So if I just stand down here, I should be pretty safe. Let's see how this works. Ready, set, go! Oh, yeah, there we go. They've all, they've all spread out. Lovely, lovely. Oh, the cannons are firing. They're doing some damage. I love it. I love it. It's working like a charm. Look at them fall. All the zombies. <laughs> Fuck you, vultures. You can't sneak up on me anymore. Not only will I be alerted by the fact that I have presence by the fact that we're getting fucking deafened by the guns, but you're all getting fucked up as it is anyway. Suck my fucking dick, vultures. You'll fuck me up no more. And then suddenly it was silent. There's one dude over there still. <laughs> One shot and he fell to his death. That was perfect. Right, there's just bodies scattered everywhere. So many vultures just gave their lives to science. I mean, in fairness, they're zombies, so they gave their lives a long time ago. They gave their afterlives to science. That was fucking perfect. Well, I'm going to get rid of these and put on some shotgun turrets just to see if those ones work any better. I feel like I've already stumbled across the perfect solution, but we'll try the shotgun turrets all the same. Alright, this time I've got the shotgun turrets ready to go. Didn't angle them up to the sky because I feel like I don't need to worry about them shooting shit on the ground. In fact, I might just even, you know, get a couple of zombies just down, down on the deck just to make sure that they don't, you know, get their... 
Oh, sorry, I just, I just dropped all this. There's a zombie tower down there now. I don't know why sometimes it spawns where I'm looking. Look at all the bodies from last time. Sometimes it spawns zombies where I'm looking. Sometimes it spawns them on my head. I don't think I'll ever understand. But either way, let's get this show on the road. Do I, yep, the, the green light is on, which means the turrets are good. Ready, set, get fucked up. Oh, yep, there we go. There we go. Do it nicely. Do it nicely. Okay, they don't do as... I was hoping the shotgun turrets would, like, one-shot kill the, all the vultures. There's so many vultures. So far, they're shooting nicely, though. Oh, that reload. That reload's going to cause me a problem. Well, look at them. It's doing fine. It's, so either way it works. I still kind of prefer the auto turret, but this is doing good. The other zombies are down... Oh, they're down there somewhere, just, like, fucking up my walls. No, thank you. Please do not do that. I'd very much appreciate it. If you could leave my walls alone, you were just there for a test, and you've done your job. Ah. <sighs> Man, this is one of my better ideas. It's not the most technical idea I've ever come up with, but it makes, makes me feel safe. It's like a security blanket with guns. Here he comes, the last vulture flying through the sky. Boom! <laughs> Okay, the shotgun turrets are very satisfying. They weren't, like, you know, pop, like dropping out of sky as quickly as I'd liked. I mean, they, they weren't one-shotting. I mean, there's one shot of that one, but sometimes it didn't seem to work out that well. There's so many bodies. So many bodies down. Hey! What? What are you doing down there? Would you kindly fuck off? I don't have time for you. You need to go over to that base over there. I don't need you over at my wall. I'm not sure if I'll put that episode out yet. The, the one over there. If I have, then you know what I'm talking about. If I haven't, then there's a nice little teaser for you for later on. That's the nice thing about having everything built in the same world. I can accidentally, because I'm not smart enough to do it deliberately, tease some things for upcoming episodes. But that has worked like a charm. That was freaking perfect. I'm, I'm going to stick with... I mean, I could... I could make a double-decker. I could make a double deck. I could have like shotguns on top and like uh, auto uh, turrets down the bottom. No, that's 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 overkill. Don't need that. I'm gonna go back to the auto turrets because I feel like they did a better job and had more range, so I felt more safe. There was a, a couple of moments there where the vulture swarm was all around me and I was looking pretty bleak. Hey there, guys. Editing Josh here had a quick brainwave well, well after actually recording this episode that maybe there was a better final build to this AA tower. And that is, if I could just get rid of some of these iron bars up here, to have the shotguns on the corner and then the auto turrets in the center. So if they, if the vultures do get too close, the shotguns can take care of it. But you got the auto turrets there to nail them from a distance. So this is the best of both worlds. I'm not sure why I didn't think of it before. I mean, I built the cage around it. The, the turrets can still shoot through the cage no worries at all but having both of the kinds of turrets in here means that you are protected and like uh, seriously protected if the vultures get close but protected from distance as well just wanted to quickly jump in and show you the final build of this how i will be using it or well, i mean there's one other video that has it in the old style but this is how i'll be using it going forward because this will fuck vulture faces up from all distances and i freaking love it okay that's all for me back to past josh but I think that is a successful build. That has worked like an absolute charm. So that is how you make some anti-aircraft, anti-vulture turrets in seven days to die. I'll come back and build some more stuff in seven days in another episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.